Hey guys, Harv here, and today I'm going to show you how to mod in and make a crew cabin, or in other words, an empty command module that you can place on your ship during the construction phase in the VAB. Now, to do this, we're going to have to... It's going to be all text-based. It's not in any other third-party program or even the editor. This is just a very simple way to edit it in by going into parts files and changing things. To do this, you're going to want to go into your KSP Win folder, or wherever your game data is stored. In my case, this is in My Games, KSP Win. And we're going to want to go into Parts. Now, I've already made one of these. Here's my crew cabin. This is made using the Mark 1 pod, which is the one-man command module. So I've already got a crew cabin for that. Now this is actually going to be a two-part tutorial because the crew cabin I'm going to make now is simply a place to house three Kerbals. Yeah, I'm going to do it for the three-man Mark, uh, three-man command pod, which is the Mark One uh, Two pod that we can see here. Uh, and the second part, that's literally just going to be able to house it. They can't have any uh, control over over the ship from inside that pod. That's just how it works. It's simply going to be a strut that can house the Kerbals. In order to have control over a part and essentially be able to recreate a docking, as you just saw in that video, uh, you're going to want to have another mod installed called MechJeb. MechJeb can be found all over the forums. It's a very big mod. I'll post a link in the description in order for you to go and download it. And the reason you need MechJeb is because MechJeb allows control over debris. And we are going to implement that into a command pod that we make. So it's not going to be a separate MechJeb part. It's going to be all in one command pod. Very, very useful. But that's in the second part of the video. This is just the first part. In order to create our crew cabin, we're going to want to copy and paste in order to simply just create a copy of that so that we have a backup as the original. And we can rename this to three man crew cabin. Okay, so we can go into the three man crew cabin, go into the parts section, and in order to make it into a, instead of a command pod, we're going to make it into a strut which can house which can house the Kerbals. And it's really, really easy. All you need to do is go to this part up here in General Parameters, go to Module, and where it says Command Pod, just put S-T-R-U-T. No capitals, no anything, strut, just how it is. I think it might not be cap sensitive, but it might very well be, so just keep it non-caps. And then we're just going to make it suit ourselves. So name, we're going to call it Three Man Crew Cabin. Uh, author is, of course, Hawk Gaming. Asset parameters, we don't need to change any of that. No definitions. It's very important that we don't change any of that. Because that is how we let the crew get in and out. That's the important part. Editor parameters, if you want it to cost less, then we can do that. We can make it 200 less. All this is basically just what you can change for yourself. Three man... Can't spell. <laughs> crew cabin and manufacturer is of course with everything from hot gaming it's shoot for the moon enterprises and description now i've already got a description here instead of typing it all out and wasting everyone's time <laughs> is it no where is my description where is my description oh wow i haven't got my description okay it hasn't been copied never mind basically we'll just call it a cabin capable of housing three Kerbals. And everything else is fine. You can mess around with the crew capacity, so we could have it have 10, 100,000, you know, Kerbals inside it, but that's going to be a bit weird, so we'll just keep it three. That's the whole point, anyway. Crew capacity, three. Crew capacity, three. Name, do not change any of that, and don't edit below that point, as it clearly says. And that is it. We can close this now, make sure it's saved and everything there is fine. We can go into the game and just load it up quickly and make sure we've got everything. Make sure it's working properly.
I don't need to test it in flight right now, so we'll just go into the VAB. You can see here we've got all our normal uh, command pods, plus the mech jeb ones. If you have that mod installed, then you'll be able to tell it's there by having these here. And you know what? We'll just load up our MK21 command pod, and if we go into command and control, we see we have another one. The three-man crew, crew cabin, a cabin capable of housing three Kerbals. So yeah, you can drag it on and that they are able to climb up these ladders and be stored in there. All well and good, we know that works. And this is the crew cam that I made earlier. <laughs> we now have a crew capacity of a lot. A crew capacity of seven people right there. That's, that's a pretty heavy ship already and it hasn't even got any engines. Anyway, so now we're going to go back. Just That was just to make sure everything's working. We'll go back now and we'll go and implement a mech jeb so that those crew cabins have control over the ship. Uh, can buy control over the ship, I mean they can control the ship as long as there's RCS thrusters there. For some reason, torque doesn't work, so being able, you won't be able to move the ship around unless you have RCS thrusters to do so. And of course, with that, you need RCS fuel to provide. A resource for them to work. But anyway, it's just as easy to make to implement mech jeb with this. We're going to want to go into parts, and we're going to want to find our original Mark One Two pod. In fact, I'm going to do this with this smaller one, so the one man pod, just for a change. So we see both of them in this tutorial. That's called the MK One pod. Copy and paste. Copy, and we can rename it. We'll rename this to uh, Crew Cabin. Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about we call this Jeb's Cabin? Yeah, that sounds like a good name for it, doesn't it? Perfect. So, what we want to do now is open up this. And in fact, you know what? We want to open up the parts file which obviously nothing has been changed yet and then we'll go back into parts and we'll find our mech jeb command not the command pod we don't want to use the command pod we just want to have the regular mech jeb part which is called moo mech jeb moo mech mech jeb right here load this up and we'll load up this part as well just put this over here and we'll drag this one and put it over here also, you can get rid of all this if it annoys you, which it kind of does me, but I'm not going to bother. <laughs> so, let's have a look at this. General parameters, general parameters. Name, we're going to want to call this Jeb's Cabin. Module, instead of changing it to Strut, we're going to make the module into Moo Mech Jeb. So, you know what, just to make sure everything, in case it is case sensitive, we'll copy that right over. Moo Mech Jeb. Author, once again, Hot Gaming. Yours truly. Asset parameters, keep the models, keep everything, keep the scale. Cost, we'll make this cost a thousand, seeing as it's a pretty big deal. Title, Jeb's Cabin. Manufacturer, shoot for the Moon Enterprises. Oh, I keep on interchanging that. Moon or Moon. Shoot for the Moon Enterprises. Description. How about this? The project to develop a crew cabin that allowed the pilot to have control over the ship was soon cancelled. Comma. After the scientists behind it proved the idea to be impossible. <laughs> yeah, I like that description. So everything else is completely fine. All this, all this, crew capacity one, we'll keep that. And we have to keep the internal the same. And that is it. Literally, all you need to do is just change over that module. Don't need any of this and we can exit that and save go back and of course our command pod our crew cabin is how it should be if we can find it there we are all here all fine let's go back into the game and make sure it is that fine
So, once again, back into the VAB. And we'll start off with our three-man command pod. And let's have a look at our collection. We have Jeb's Cabin. The project developed a crew cabin that allowed the pilot to have control over the ship was soon cancelled after the scientists behind it proved the idea to be impossible. And this gives us control over the ship as long as we have RCS. So, as you saw in the video, if we were to make, say, a ship that was capable of going to the moon, taking a lander down and rendezvousing back with the original part, instead of having this part here, we still need thrusters, but now we can take this away, take this away, take that, take that away, and replace this crew cabin with the part that I just made, Jeb's cabin. Because Jeb knows what's best. And I'm going to want to put these back on. Put the parachutes back on. Put the thrusters back on. And put this back on. There we are. And everything should be fine. Unless I've just screwed up my staging. I think everything's fine. And you can see when we launch it. That despite the fact that there's no Mech Jeb pod on there. We have Mech Jeb controls on the side of our window. <laughs> ah. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please do like the video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Man, that's good ship. I love it.